Hey, my beautiful, powerful, brilliant, sexy ass Scorpios. Welcome to Scorpio Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, like and subscribe, hit that notification button if anything resonate. And if not, hey family, welcome back. I just want you to know today is a great day to be you. You're so beautiful, you're so powerful. And you're so fucking sexy, Scorpio. Like, woo, you're looking good today baby <laughs> okay family so we're gonna get into this daily energy but first <laughs> mosaic we thank you right now for my beautiful powerful brilliant brilliant Corp scorpio collective i thank you for their life i thank you for their purpose i thank you for their divine being their energy i thank you for their level up heavenly father anything that is causing uh them to feel stagnant anything that's putting blocks up in their way anything that is sending out negative energy we ask you right now for all of that to be uprooted victory is our portion we walk in and we receive it it is so it is so family it is so a it is so family <laughs> i always got this energy in the morning and then i'm up on my coffee and then i got my people with me hey hey i got my people with me <laughs> let's get to this energy mercy okay okay don't rush me baby let me let me get my uh, don't rush this energy baby let me get it in <laughs> okay so we're gonna start with questions family questions Tell me what you think about me. Messages of love and life from my beautiful, powerful Scorpio spirit. What are the questions we should be asking ourselves at this time? Messages of love and life. What are the questions we should be asking ourselves at this time? Oh, okay. I like how they kind of just rolled out there. See? All right. What is the most important thing for me in this moment? What is the most important thing for me in this moment? Spirit wants you to ask yourself this. What is the most important thing for me in this moment? I feel that Scorpios in this moment, I mean, y'all could put what's the most important thing for y'all in the comments, but since I can't hear y'all, y'all can hear me, I'm going to go first, okay? <laughs> I'm signing up. So what's the most important thing for me in this moment? It's just for me to move forward. The most important thing I feel like Spirit wants us to understand is that it's time to move forward. We are in a new era, family. We are in the process of creating a new earth. Meaning, how do you create a new earth? You have to recreate your mindset, how you think. We no longer think like we did in the past. We start realizing that perception is everything. And now we're starting to not only perceive ourselves have an out-of-body experience and look at ourselves from a higher projective uh, perspective. We're starting to be more patient with ourselves. We're starting to be patient with the things around us, but not be patient with the disrespect. We're not being patient with the constant uh, cycles of negativity and toxic, uh, toxic things. We are not accepting anything beneath who we desire uh, and who we are walking in. So it's like, the more you begin to love yourself, the more you start to become more patient with yourself. The, and, and the more you begin to be patient with yourself, the less patience you have for those who do not see your beauty. See, because as you begin to develop and as you begin to see how truly powerful you are, how truly generous you are, how truly loving you are, you start reflecting, you start seeing yourself. See, when we're dealing with situations and people that mistreat us and hurt us and we keep going back, it's like we looking at ourselves. We See, it's easy to say this person is doing all of these bad things to me, but the truth is you're doing those bad things to yourself. Why? Because you're allowing it. You're afraid to leave something that is hurting you and, and therefore you are hurting you. With everything we do, Spirit says, so what is the most important thing for me in this moment is to move forward. The most important thing for me at this moment is to continually elevate, to keep on, keep on pushing. Keep on pushing, baby. This is not our final destination. We, we still got to go all the way up. Do you feel me? We got a long ways to go, but we got this. So whatever is the most important 
thing for you to do right now, Spirit says, do it. Keep on pushing. Keep pushing forward. Success is already here. Well, that is only the tip of the iceberg. We got some depth to go. It's time to get deep, Scorpio. And you know that's where that, that that's our area. You feel me? Like we we ain't surface individuals. Like we go to the surface to try to see does anybody wanna go down under with us? You feel me? Because we're gonna get to the bottom of it straight up. Spirit says, man. That iceberg go deep. So get your goggin, your 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 dive deep diver. Let's get get all get prepared. That's what spirit saying, Scorpios. It's time for us to get prepared. Because we're about to go deep. Some of y'all is gonna be deeper than you've ever gotten. For real. Alright, messages of love and life, spirit. What is, what's the questions you want our Scorpios to ask ourselves at this time? How do I show love to myself to others? How do I show love to myself to others? Well, setting up healthy boundaries. We were just talking about that. How do you show love to yourself to others? Because first of all, well, let me go first. Y'all put y'all in the comments, okay? How do I show love to myself to others? The way I carry myself. The way when I speak, how I speak about myself, my situations. How I don't speak negative on anybody or anything around me. Why? Because it's not benefiting them. So if I'm not speaking negatively towards anybody, when I walk in a place and somebody may look not up to par, I don't, I don't care to even speak about it. I don't think about shit like that. And, and, and the truth is because I don't think about myself like that. I mean, sometimes, shoot, I, I dress like I dress, but, I, I mean, people can talk about it, but, shoot, I don't pay no attention. I don't pay attention to people. I don't pay, all I pay attention to is myself and the energy that I, that I, that I project. Now, if I have a situation where somebody wants to come in and, and want to, you know, they coming into the circle, they trying to fill you out, right? How do you show respect? Somebody be like, <laughs> yeah, ooh, like, 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 you know, when people be trying to be that nice, nasty, they be trying to throw little jabs on the side. Like some people be like, ooh, why are you wearing that, that shadow on you today? Oh, your face so pretty. Don't be putting that shit. Well, first of all, why do you care? You know what I'm saying? See, people be trying to see how much you would take if they could if, if they could shoot little shots. No, respect it or check it. I check everything. I check it in the smile. I check it in my verbiage. You hear me? Nah, I'm not I'm, I'm not that pushover. You want to go to war, I'm ready for battle, baby, with a smile on my face. I ain't letting you get to me, but I'm letting you know ain't the two, three, or the four, but I am the one setting up healthy boundaries. Go play with your kids. Don't play with me because I can't prepare. You hear me? Or like when people come in your life and let's just say like they're, they, they're, they, they want to set up an ability to continue to be uh, inconsistent. You know, like, okay, let's say you meet somebody. Hey, hey, you doing, doing good, doing good. Now, the first initial, you know, people be wearing masks on. Some of them don't. Some people just, you know. So when you meet this individual, it's kind of like this energy. Okay, well, look, let's meet up here at uh, this time. All right, cool, boom. Do you meet up? Now nah, something happened. Hmm. Okay, no problem. You hear me? And then what they do is they'll get back on terms with you, but to set up something else just so that they could fall or, or they could renege. See, what they're doing is setting up this inconsistency with you to see if you're going to continually tolerate them. So that opens up an opportunity where they could fuck with you when they want to. Are you going to accept that? No, because the next time you call me and be like, hey, let's meet up here, I'll be like, no, nah, bro, you know, I ain't, I don't fuck with you like that. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be serious, though. I'll be like, I don't fuck with you like that, fam. You know, shoot, you just go ahead, go out with whoever you're going to go out with, because shoot, I, you know, I'm already going somewhere, you feel me? I'm going to be one deep. If I'm going to be one deep, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? That, that's cool with me, but I'm not about to keep on setting up stuff and you ain't consistent. That's how you show people that you love them. When you stop fucking with them, when they keep, when you keep showing you red flags. See, it ain't hard. See, people just, oh, I don't want them to feel some type of way. So you okay with uh taking all of the feelings of pain and or 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 or, 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 or being left out? Nah, bro. We gonna feel this shit together. You feel me? Ain't nobody about to play with you, and I'm damn sure not about to let you play with me. Unless we into that. <laughs> All right, collection. Let me get one more card, one more question the Spirit wants us to ask ourselves. Messages of love and light, Spirit. Messages of love and light, my beautiful, powerful Scorpios. Messages of love and light. Boom, boom, boom. 
So then last but not least, we have why am I doing the things I'm doing right now? Scorpio, why are you doing what you're doing right now? Huh? Well, we're doing what we're doing because first of all, we're breaking generational curses. We will not let our children be raised in the same mentality, mindset, uh, perception that we may have been raised. And not just that, but we're getting up on our shit so that we can uh, evolve so that we can teach our children, our grandchildren, the, the generations after us on how to get where we are, but sooner. See, all we're doing is elevating our generational, our bloodline. We're thickening our bloodline. We're putting that, that character, that substance in our bloodline. But for, for a lot of you guys, that generational curse stopped here. You hear me? Ain't no more generational curses when, when it comes to me. And, 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 and what am I willing to sacrifice? What am I willing to let go of in order for that to come to pass? I'm ready to let everything go. Everybody go. Every situation go. Ain't no toxicity here, bruh. You hear me? I don't care who it is. I don't care. Because from this being forward, only but only abundance, prosperity. My children, my generation should never know the spirit of lack. They would never know the spirit of lack. They would never know the spirit of inconsistency because they will always be consistent. They will come out knowing thyself, knowing they are royal. You hear me? They will remember who they are. So why am I doing what I'm doing right now? I'm, a, I'm building dynasties, you hear me? I'm a ruler of worlds. And me, see, I told you, I'll be ready to dive deep, y'all. I'm going to pull it back a little bit, you feel me? Because be, I'm really about this life. I'm really about this. I'm really about eternity. Being, being uh, above everything. They say we gods, right? I say we're gods, right? If you can create your world, would you create your world as being the most powerfulest, the most influential, the most, the, 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 the most giving of humanity? Or are you going to be the bottom? The one that always asking, always in need. What type of world are you creating, family? Scorpios, that is the question I have for you. What kind of world are you creating? Because remember, it starts within yourself and then it comes out. That's why they say you want to change the world. You got to change yourself because once you change yourself, that energy of growth, that energy of abundance starts to spread. Everything around you has to be on your level. We are the vibe, family. It's a vibe. No, we're the vibe. We walk in a room, the whole shit changes. You hear me? We don't change because of what's in there. We change it. Know who you are. Walk in that power. I love y'all. I love y'all self. If any of this resonated, like and subscribe. If you want a personal read and all that information, be in the description below. We are the gods and we have arrived. It's time to put in that work, family.